Based on their vibe so far, it seems like Jenna Marbles is more extroverted, but anxious. Anxious not being bad, but I feel like she's thinking a lot. She might be overthinking sometimes, but she loves being in front of the camera, uh, interacting with a lot of people. Now, Julian. When you're in love, when you're in love, when you're in love. And that's the kind of music that I sing to you. <laughs> uh, uh, sorry, that was the type of music that I actually listened to. Cheesy old 50s, 1940s type of songs. I'm a weirdo. Sorry about that. Today we are going to react to Jenna Marbles and Julian Solomita. Got the names right today, didn't I? Hi, my name's Anthony Resinello. I'm a social and relationship coach living in LA. I've been doing this since 2005. What does that mean? What is, what is my job? Well, I teach people how to meet the people that they really want to be with. And you could find me either coaching people in cafes and parks, helping people get over their anxieties, or you could see me on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> talking to people on the phone or coaching them one-on-one -on, -one on conversation, on confidence, on happiness, um, anything that has to do with helping you become the person that you want to be in order to meet the people that you want to meet. Hey. That's my new tagline. Oh, and it's saved, baby, so I won't forget it. Anyway, let's get to the video. I'm very excited to see this couple. Everyone has been telling me that this is YouTube's best, most perfect couple in the world. Well, let's find out, shall we? Broop. When you're in love. What is you doing? <laughs> I'm leisuring. Is this a leisure suit? This is my own customized personal leisure no, suit. No, I don't think so. I got this it today at the lot, swap meet. Like my Ooh, I want that thing bad. Ooh, ooh, just imagine me walking around or even filming videos with just like a completely, what is it, velvet? <laughs> velvet maroon or burgundy outfit. He's sexy. I like him already, this Julian man. I got suit. it today. I'm pretty sure that you got that out of my closet, Julian. I bought it today with your credit card. <laughs> I'm sick and tired of cooking for you and you leisuring. I want a leisure. <laughs> do you want me to cook your favorite meal? Yes, I do. Ew, sit up when you drink. <laughs> it didn't work. Jenna made me cook and work very hard to make her favorite meal in the whole world. While she sat here in a suit very similar, but not as great as this one. It's the same one. Drank wine and demanded greatness, and I delivered. I made her the best damn garbage plate that exists. So now, we're gonna switch it up. I'm gonna eat today, you gonna cook. I would like a Kung Pao dish and gyoza as a starter from scratch. Everything. He kind of has like an almost drunky voice. I don't know if that's his regular voice because I've never seen him before. <laughs> uh, but he's fun, just like Jenna Marbles. So, so far they look like a really cute couple. Let's continue. Everything has to be vegan and gluten free. Like, I don't think the dumplings are gonna hold together. Um, not with that attitude, they're not. Are you done? So wait, is Julian vegan and gluten free? I like so desperately want to hop in here and just do everything a million miles an hour. Yeah, how many times have we gone to the emergency room because you're so fast? Like only twice, probably. How many times have things caught on fire? Zero. One, like twice. All the garlic and ginger is all in there. Oh shit, do it again. Oh shit! I like this encouragement. <laughs> I'm just drying off the tofu so I can put it in there and crumble it. Oh, 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 oh! But I'm managing my excitement because I know it's not coming quick. <laughs> what? It's just true. Seven fucking hours later, I'm still cutting these carrots. Should have just put them in the food processor. You don't get to tell me you where to chop. Too short. No, I didn't. That's fine. I didn't do that with you. I mean, I did a little. It just seems like. Julian and Jenna have this amazing chemistry where even when they're bickering, they're having fun with each other. Like they're always 
playing with each other. There's, it seems like there's never a time where even when, I'll bet you even when they're bored, even when they're annoyed with each other, even when they're just like not in the mood to be around each other, they still have this playful vibe. I'm just, that's what I'm gonna guess so far, but let's let's keep watching. Uh, I can't leisure if I don't have another beer. You can get it. You're not like banned from the kitchen with no arms. You can get it. Cheers to me. <laughs> Oatmeal, for whatever fucking reason. Tablespoon of soy sauce. No more. Yes, Gios. Based on their vibe so far, it seems like Jenna Marbles is more of an extroverted, but anxious. Anxious not being bad, but I feel like she's, she's thinking a lot. She might be overthinking sometimes, but she loves uh, being in front of the camera. Uh, interacting with a lot of people. Now, Julian, and listen, this is one minute into me meeting these people. Julian seems like introverted, but at the same time, kind of on the inside, is very kind of calm, relaxed, um, and isn't going crazy in his head about things. Now, again, I know nothing, I know nothing about these people, but this is just what I'm kind of just like feeling. It's what my gut is telling me. Um, but I never really like to say this is this until I have checked out something a lot. The other thing that I like about Julian so far is that his personality seems to be this kind of like reserved, but at the same time, crazy. It's something I, it's like, you don't see that quite often in people, right? They're either outgoing, loud, and crazy, or they're quiet, and if they're funny, they're even still kind of like chilled, deadpan quiet. But Julian seems to mix kind of like this wackiness with a reserved personality. I don't really see that at all, that often and I'm loving it. He has a great personality. I'm, I'm really liking him and I'm really loving their relationship so far. This is like not dough whatsoever. This is just a bowl of flour, Julian. <laughs> what do we do here? Add water. When you root and ungrateful, <laughs> I'm not gonna make you dumplings. Oh, way too much. Stop screaming. People make dumplings for fun. Is it? <laughs> hey, you wanna go out and do some pickup dumplings? I got a dumpling game tomorrow! Don't worry, babe, I know this is hard, but you only had one entire meal after this. <laughs> so he like rolled it out, but then he cut it into even little things. If you would just chill Look out. Here you go, girl. Stop. All right, I kind of really want to see them interact together. This is cute with the, him holding the camera, but I don't really get to see them together on screen. So I want to see if I could find that. Merry Christmas. This week, a lot of you guys tweeted at me a video from Nicole Concilio. I'll link the video down below, but it's just right up my alley. I do not know her, but we are, because she did this, spiritually connected. We're both beauty gurus. We're both... <laughs> don't, do not do that. I'm a beauty guru. Ask them. Hey them. Ne don't ask them. <laughs> I watched lipsticks. You don't want to put anything in there that like can't be left out in the air. You know, like a dog treat is fine. You're not putting like a pieces of chicken in it. Chicken advent calendar would be gross. <laughs> what are you going to put the whole thing in the refrigerator? It'd be a salmonella advent That's calendar. So disgusting. <laughs> In essence, this is an advent calendar for dogs. So like we They're could colorblind. do nothing to it. They have no idea. <laughs> they don't even know that days are passing. <laughs> are you upset that you've never had an advent calendar? Because we can get one for people if you want. Um. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. I like doing crafts with you. Well, I also like. Sorry, hold on. I was on the Bluetooth. What would you say? I feel like I'm good at crafts and bad at art. Is that a thing? So I'm the arts guy and you're the crafts guy. We're just a couple of guys. <laughs> Say a little bit for you. It's very Christmassy so far. Have you ever tried brushing your teeth in the shower? They're just so cute. They have this kind of constant improv going back and forth between each other. It's like there is never a pause. They always know the snappy comeback. And this makes me think about getting into relationships. I think a lot of people are so worried about getting into a relationship and less worried about just finding people that they 
are so aligned with. Like they, they have so much chemistry with. And it's obvious that Jenna and Julian both have super strong chemistry together. I believe that if people spent less time worrying about finding a relationship, somebody that loves them, cares for them, will take away their loneliness and stop focusing on a relationship and just focus on finding people to bring into your life, friends that have such strong chemistry with you, that your sense of humor is just so on the same level. Um, because I have found one of the biggest things, first of all, is with senses of humor. When somebody's sense of humor matches yours so well, you guys could just continue and continue for years, just play, being playful with each other, joking around with each other. This doesn't mean, when I say strong chemistry, this doesn't mean that you two need to agree on absolutely everything. You need to agree on a lot, but more so it's about how you two can understand each other, can admire and respect that other person's point of view and maybe want to grow towards that and have them equally grow towards sides of you as well. And quite often, this doesn't have to do with going out and looking and saying, okay, this person checks this on this, this person checks this on the list, this person checks this on the list. It's more about saying, where do I feel comfortable in the world? What type of things am I interested in? Let me go towards that. Let me find communities that cater to that. And then just going on autopilot, and meeting everybody and seeing, just feeling who you feel the best with. Seeing who you get that Julian and Jenna Marbles kind of mesh, meshy kind of chemistry with. Feeling that the same way you see them just naturally inter interacting so perfectly, so kind of interlocking, so interlocking, interweaving, meshing, intergobbling, so perfectly. It's that feeling when you guys meet each other, you almost instantly go, whoa, holy crap. This is, this is like, feels pretty right. Feels like a square peg in a square hole. Feels like a square circle. Squares like a circle peg in a circle hole. Now that doesn't mean it needs to happen immediately all the time. Sometimes people feel awkward around each other. Sometimes it takes a little longer for the true selves to kind of come out and realize that. That's why I'm not always so big on just like scooting somebody away, pushing them aside when you don't feel that chemistry immediately. Now, red flags are different. Yeah, if you notice a red flag, then I would say get them out of the way immediately. But if you be like, ah, there's potential, I would see it through, keep going with it. And that's why going into communities and building friendships is great because you get to build these relationships over time and invest in each other over time rather than online dating, which is very immediate. You didn't feel it, eh, might as well just find somebody better. I could just go on my phone right now, right? But I'm willing to bet that when Julian and Jenna met, now I don't know how they met. I'd love to see a video. I wonder if there's a video on it on how they met. I'm thinking that when they did meet, it was that type of, whoa, we kind of have this, we kind of have this hexagon peg in this hexagon hole. It's going good. It's fitting nicely, like a glove, my babies. And whenever I meet anybody, just making friends, that's the only thing I'm looking for. I have just taught myself to naturally go towards that, no matter what these days, that I don't even notice when I don't have bad chemistry with somebody. I don't even notice when somebody just doesn't like me or doesn't match with me because my focus is so much on, ooh, I just wanna feel that, I wanna feel that click with somebody. So if I don't have that with somebody, I'm just moving on to the next person. I'm just, let's say I'm in a party. I'm just constantly feeling out people, going back to people throughout the night. And when I meet that person that clicks, I'm like, ooh, Ooh, I wanna keep spending time with this person. And so then I pursue that. That is how you should pursue all relationships, really. Now, how do most people go about meeting people at, let's say, a party or a bar or something like that, or on an online date? They go hang out, they go, oh, this person has like lots of valuable qualities in them that I'm imagining the world really likes. They have a bone structure that matches that of an Instagram influencer. <laughs> they, they seem to have, I don't know, high status 
friends. They seem to have money. They seem to wear clothing that I think a lot of people find acceptable. I want this person to see that they like me and validate me, and I'm going to work towards that. If they don't like me, then I will feel sad. If they do like me, I will have an elevated sense of self. And all before that, I will feel anxious in my life. This is the way most people go about building relationships, dating, yada yada. When you could jump out of that headspace and go, I'm only looking for what clicks with me. If I don't have that, then I move on. I don't even care. I'm not even thinking about it. I'm not looking about how cool are they or whatever. I just focus on, I want that, I want that, and I want that, I want the, mm, mm. I want the, ooh, that feels good, ooh. I am, I am a ridiculous person. <laughs> All right, let's keep going. We'll give her a treat every day and then she'll get scared Christmas day probably. She was doing good with our tree though. She wasn't too scared of the tree. I thought she'd be more scared of it. I know my next palette. This this paint actually smells like Pad Thai. No, it literally yeah, it does. Do you not smell that? Oh, it smells so good. I love Pad Thai. You just want Pad Thai. <laughs> You need to be careful. You're gonna make a big mess. Wait, are you paint? Why are you painting the plastic on the table? It's therapeutic. <laughs> now, the theme of this one is supposed to be pizza. These are gonna be pepperoni. <laughs> I appreciate yours, Julian. I really do. I don't appreciate that. Stop. I'm I'm making it so that it dries out faster. Cause if they're all in pile. I just love the dynamic of Julian always misbehaving, <laughs> and Jenna. <laughs> Just like reprimanding him for it. It's adorable. Anyway, I think we could end it here. I, I got a good idea of who they are. I think I was able to give a good lesson to you guys today. And now all I'm thinking about is going on a double date with Julian and Jenna. They live in LA, right? Let me call them up. What's their number? Can somebody have my people talk to their people? I'd love for that to happen. Anyway, thanks so much for coming, guys. If you want to connect with other like-minded people and build that little that little uh with others <laughs> within, the, <laughs> within the interests of building relationships, building social skills, building your charm, building your confidence and your happiness. Well, I started a discord called Anthony's Research Laboratory for the advancement, worldwide advancement of charm and relationships. You can join in the link in the description. It's a place where just people connect with each other. Um, yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching everybody. And you can watch another video right now.